Hey, we're bringing you all the action today on the live stream and around the grounds at NG Stadium. Thanks to Eastside Riding Academy. If you're looking out saying, I want to ride a horse, look at this. I want to be part of that. You can, right in the middle of Sydney, over at Centennial Park, Moore Park is the stables. 200 people a week go and ride through the Eastside Riding Academy. Some do it weekly, some do it once every now and again. But the wonderful team at Eastside Riding Academy, they have 12 beautiful horses in their stables. Uh, everything from lovely ponies through to Pershons and Clydesdale crosses. They've got some nice hacks there. If you are new to riding or you are someone that rode in the past and you'd love to get on a horse again, Eastside Riding Academy, our friends here, are uh, the people to go to. Kristen, we've been talking to all day. She is originally from South Africa, has a great riding school over there, came to Australia. She's now the third custodian of Eastside Riding Academy, and it's got a fantastic vibe. Uh, people come back just to help with the horses, be around them. You can run pony parties. You can go for private lessons. You can go for lessons with friends, ride in the arena or ride out at Centennial Park but visit eastsideriding.com.au. And my friend Tim Dreverman just bought me a voucher, so I'm going to be going riding out there next week. Thanks so much, Tim. Uh, what is going on in the main arena right now? It looks like organised chaos. It most certainly is, Lindsay Douglas. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's not organised chaos at all. It's a six-bar competition. We have our horses here competing this afternoon. We've got Olympic competitors we, this is our second and final six bar here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. Six fences in a line. They start down here in the big stadium end, the big screen end at the NG Stadium. They jump fences one through to six. Each fence keeps getting higher and higher. And our first rider out this evening, Lindsay Douglas, Gemma Tinney. Oh, yes, P.H.S. Hilton is the horse. She's a young lady who always does well in our entertainment show jumping, a crowd favourite, one of our younger competitors, and she'll be lining up for the first of our six-bar jump-offs in just a moment. All right, here she goes, ladies and gentlemen. This is the six bar. This is the one. They just jump a straight fence. It's very simple. They've got to get to this last fence. They've got to jump it clear. P.S. Hilton safely on the last. Gemma Tinney all clear in round number one. Second horse now. This is uh, the wonderful Charlie Dobbin filling in for Dad Brooke Dobbin. On oh, Castellata. Castellata, the young gun. She's been waiting all week long, grooming for mum and dad. Come on, Charlie. All clear. Sam Lyle will be the next one down here. He'll be next to go. Harry Hill, the horse. Bell sounds from our judge, Mr. Honayu. It is entertainment jumping, but it is a serious competition. You know it's serious when you see the vice president down here in the arena. All right, Sam Lyle of Enter. Harry Hill over the first three. Falls there. Sit and hold. Sit and hold. Nicely over the last. All clear. Now we'll go to uh, Stuart Tinney. Viennese is the horse. Viennese. Three-time Olympian. Two-time gold medalist. He is a phenomenal rider. Waves to the judge. Viennese came in specially for this competition. He, his daughter Gemma, and uh, also Sam Lyle. Making sure we have a great class specialist here. Over the first two, third fence is right. Oh, rail down at the fourth, sets up for the last. Safely over the last, four jumping penalties. No time penalties, a total of four next out into the arena. James Patterson Robinson. So, Tim Dreverman, for those who haven't seen a six bar before, it is effectively sudden death in this competition. A rail down? Rail down. I was just talking to our judge. We might actually do something here. We'll come back to that. Four faults does normally put you out of the competition, but as a legend of the sport, I reckon we might invite him back for the second round. 
The rules? Who said there are rules? They said you're not meant to go to the council stand without a councillor. I did that this week, put my feet up on the president's desk. The rules are meant to be broken, Lindsay Douglas. Olympian from the London Olympics, James Patterson Robinson. Come on, James. We've won one six bar here this week already. He won the first one, Sarah Duggan now. Sarah Duggan, Japatero S. Here we go, Sarah Duggan, clear over the first, seconds right. Come on, Sarah, hold, ooh, Sarah. Rail down at the fifth. Rules are meant to be broken. This is a warm up round. No one's going to be knocked out. So Sarah and Stewie stay alive in the competition. Loose go, and free go on rogue the on day there. 11, don't we? <laughs> don't we go rogue on the day 11, day Lindsay 11. Douglas? Day 11, what is happening? I think someone's had a few too many birdie beetles. Oh, isn't that a good? No, too many cheese on a sticks for me. All right, Stuart Jenkins. Quinta Z is the horse. Quinta Z sharply on the uh, saddle cloth. Oh, what a jump on the last. Round one, one horse left to go, Andrew Inglis. Andrew Inglis, his beloved, a lily. All right, here we go. Andrew Inglis over the first. Second is right. He is a legend of this arena. You watch him. Horseman through and through. Safely on the last, all clear. Round one, run said and done. And Lindsay, we're allowing everyone into round number two. Are we, is the official competition starting now, Tim Dreverman? Well, no, I've got uh, Vice President, Mr. Mark Shembury, beside me. I knew me. there was we'll, a reason behind we'll the chaos. We'll let everyone go through, won't we? I'm very happy for that to occur here, Tim. Uh, you know, you know, one of the busiest nights of the show, I think it'd be most appropriate for the public. Hey, I understand uh, Councillor and Vice President Mark Shembury was the commentator extraordinaire in the hand milking dairy challenge with legends. Of hand milking demonstration, you were a commentator. Are you trying to steal my job? Wasn't very good at it, so I've come uh, come back to being a vet here today. You've turned back to being a vet, fair enough. Mark, uh, it's been great over the Easter weekend. I don't know who you and John and the councillors have been talking to because uh, the weather this year, I think it's the first show I've ever been to that has been so divine each and every day. Very, very little rain. I think there was only one morning where it went for about 30 minutes. And yet, the, uh, look, at the look at the grass in the, in the uh, main arena here tonight. It looks terrific. So, wonderful weather for the 2024 show. And uh, you're happy with the crowds that you're seeing through and the education that everyone's been getting and uh, the entertainment? The crowds have been so strong because um, the, the RAS has really turned on one of the greatest shows ever. And I must say, the crowd here on Easter Monday is the best in the history of the RAS. The custodians of this that is now 202 years old, to the Vice President, to all of our councillors, thank you for all the work that you do. It's a tireless effort in uh, making sure the tradition continues and we forge into new territory each year. Can I thank my wife for all her support in allowing me to be here throughout the show and of course to the people of Sydney and regional and rural New South Wales, good on you for supporting the greatest event in the country. Largest ticketed event in the Southern Hemisphere, annual ticketed event. We are now celebrating 202 years of the Royal Agricultural Society of New South Wales, formed in 1822. 202 years on, we're now at our fourth location, having started at Parramatta Park, moved to Prince Alfred Park, Moore Park, and now Sydney Olympic Park. This is a great tradition of uh, multiple, multiple generations. And uh, Lindsay Douglas here in the NG Stadium. I don't know if you can see, but those fences have all gone up in height. We wiped the slate clean. Everyone's on zero. And uh, first horse out, Gemma Tinney. She'll be riding PHS Hilton. All right.
right, here she goes, Gemma Tinney. She won the knockout stakes here last night. She was right in the competition for our six bar a few nights ago. Come on, Gemma. Come on, Gemma. Come on, Gemma. All clear. We're into the fair income serious competition here tonight. As we now go to the young gun, junior rider, Charlie Dobbin. Casalada is the horse. Casalada, Charlie Dobbin from the Yarra Glen in Victoria. She is a lovely young lady. Rattles the fourth, rattles the sixth, but it stays there. We've got a third round, all clear. Next down to the uh, far end of the arena, we welcome out the one and only Sam Lyle. And this is Harry Hill. Harry Hill falls right, fives there, comes down to the final fence. Hey! A plethora of clear rounds here this afternoon on a beautiful Easter Monday at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. Now we go to a legend, an icon, the man, the myth, Stuart Tinney. One and two's right, three's there. Oh, four falls down, five falls down. Hey, Sydney, he jumps the big one. He's a legend of our sport. He'll bow out in round number two with eight jumping penalties. Great to see you here, Stewie. Tonight, unfortunately, not your night. Not the night for v and and Stuart Tinney, but three clear rounds so far. Well, next out into the lineup, we welcome another Olympian. He finished 40th at the London Olympics. He spent over 18 years based in Europe. He and his now fiancée came back to Australia. James Patterson Robinson. A Next rider to go. ARC Cato is the horse. ARC Cato, owned by a junior rider. Name escapes me at the moment. We're a little loose here on a Monday afternoon. It's been 11 days of a high octane, high energy. Oh, look at this horse getting in close. Getting in close, but he gets it done. All clear. JPR books a spot in round number three. Gemma, Charlie. Sam, and now JPR, all booking a spot into that next round. Sarah Duggan, the other half. No one would argue when you say the better half of JPR. Sarah Duggan. Giappatino S. Here we go. Nicely over the first four. Come on, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. All clear. Final horse to go, the current Australian show jumping champion, Stewie Jenkins, the big stew dog, down here in the arena. You shouldn't laugh at your own jokes. It's amazing what people will get you to do. Come on, Stewie. Come on, Stewie. Come on, Queenslander, Stewie Jenkins. All clear. Well, Lindsay Douglas, one horse left to go now, Andrew Inglis. The old gentleman. He competed at the old showground in the 1980s. Over 40 years of time competing at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. Last rider now, one and two is right. Three's there. Four's clear, holds to five. He's gonna to have to work to the last. He does it all clear. Well, just one horse and rider bow out in the second round. We're gonna go up. And Lindsay Douglas at this point of the evening, a massive uh, thank you to the uh, wonderful team here behind the scenes, to uh, Bronte and to Holly, Ray, Rain and Horn, at Wyong, Hollywood behind the reins. I get paid by word that I sponsor them and thank them for their support. But also, 
If I can take a moment, because this competition for the last four years has had a man by the name of Shane Rose here competing. And uh, just the other day, he rang our chief jumping steward and said to Brett Davey, hey, Brett, I don't think I'm going to make it. Brett said, yeah, mate, I've been watching, uh, I've been watching your uh, journey. He's in ICU. He's making great recovery. He's broken some bones. He had a serious concussion. They tell me he is going superb, and the dream of Paris is certainly not over yet. Hey, Shane, rest up well, mate. We will all be cheering for you. Whatever happens, we hope that we can see you in July in Paris. And, mate, thank you for your support. Final fence now stands at a metre 60 in height. And our first rider out will be Gemma Tinney. One metre 60. The Grand Prix today was a metre 50. P.H.S. Hilton. Gemma Tinney. What can she do? First is right. Whatever happens, Sydney. Whatever happens, NG Stadium. We're going to give her a big cheer. This is a huge effort. This is a huge effort. Oh, no. Got so wrong there. She bows out in round number three. You can see the difficulty. This young lady. Have a look at that final fence. It's gone up in height. 1 metre 60. Charlie Dobbin now. Casalada D. Charlie Dobbin. She's the young gun. 17 years of age. Not even able to celebrate at the members bar if she wins the competition. Charlie Dobbin. First is right. Second there. This is where you've got to do your work. You've got to hold, compact the spring. Hold, hold. Oh, she jumps the big one. Rail down at fence five. Four jumping penalties, but she jumps the big fence. Casalada D, as we now go to Harry Hill, Sam Lyle. Rail goes back into the cups. We are in the third round of the six bar here in the NG Stadium. Sam Lyle. Eventers at an Olympic level jump a metre 30. We are 30 centimetres, kids. 12 inches for Bruce Moxie, who's over there in the grandstand in the old measurement. Here we go. One, two, threes right. All fours down. Come on, Harry Hill. Come on, Harry Hill. No problem with the big one. Two riders on four jumping penalties. We could get a fourth round. Two on four. I was going to do some work, Lindsay Douglas, and go pick that rail up. That's not your responsibility, Tim Dreverman. I like helping. Yes, but I think it's best you stick to your core responsibilities out there. You know what I'm saying? I just can't help myself when there's a show jump on. You get excited. I do. James Patterson Robinson now. And I just like to show off that I work every now and then. A huge thank you to the Blue Shirt Brigade. They build our rodeos. They build our show jumps. They are hard workers. They're one of the teams behind the scenes that makes this great event run to all of our workers. Whether you're in a food stall, whether you're on the gate, thank you for your efforts. JPR now. One, two, three is there. Come on, JPR. Come on, JPR. Come on, JPR. So four is the last. Three on four faults. Three on four faults. This is getting interesting. Tim Dreverman, you thanked a lot of our wonderful stewards on the ground, the likes of the beautiful Holly Spence and the talented Bronte Talbot. Didn't mention our good friend James Kelly, a tireless steward out in the marshalling areas. Now, it's the one time we let him out here, actually, for an entertainment event. Isn't he looking sharp today, bow tie and all? Timber bow tie, not just a bow tie, a timber bow tie. He is a... Uh, it's from good uh, show jumping stock, that one. He most certainly is. All right. Sarah Duggan. Come on, Sarah Bear. Come on, Sarahs. No, that horse just said, Mum, have you seen the size of that fence? You've got rocks in your head. Well, he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. She bows out of the competition. Okay, we uh, speak about these wonderful stewards on the ground. Mr David Chittick is one of the absolute gentlemen 
of the uh, show jumping stewarding team here. His family were awarded last year for 100 years of continuous involvement through dairy and horse at Sydney Royal Easter Show. Brilliant well, heritage. Lindsay, the winner could be right here in front of us. All he needs to do is jump up, clean a rail down. We're going to go to another round. We're going to see whether we can do it. But can we do it with Andrew Inglis? Can we do it? Ride with him, Sydney. Ride with him. Yes! The winner here tonight, Andrew Inglis and Alili jumps a magnificent clear round we'll get the official results but ladies and gentlemen warm those hands up one more time give a legend of this arena mr andrew inglis a big round of applause the winner of the six bar here this evening What a ride here tonight. He comes down and gives some high fives to the kids. That there, ladies and gentlemen, is the definition of legend. Look it up in the Oxford Dictionary. You'll see Andrew Inglis with Vicky Roycross's name beside him. And uh, congratulations to our winner. An absolute gentleman of the sport. He's a horse trainer and breeder as his career. He's competed across Europe many, many times in the past and does been successful at major show jumping events around Australia. He adores this uh, Belgian warm blood mare of his, Alili, side by Vivant and out of the dam, Amira. They campaigned together so well and they've been very successful here at uh, Sydney Royal. Always a crowd favourite, Andrew Inglis and Alili. Well, we're just getting the official results. And uh, first place will go to Andrew Inglis. Equal second place going to Gemma Tinney, Charlie Dobbin, Sam Lyle and James Patterson Robinson. And fifth place going to Sarah Duggan. Andrew Inglis, they'll bring you over for a presentation in a moment. Mate, uh, congratulations, won this competition last year. You win it again this year, mate. Great to see you out here as a legend of our arena. I'm not sure about that, but yes, it's good to be back again. And uh, this horse is, uh, no, knows her job now. Does a good job, tries hard. Mate, you've had your fair share of battles. You've had serious injury. You've battled the great word cancer. You've come out in remission. Mate, you're a fighter through and through. Now, what brings you back year after year? Well, it's, you'd fade away if you stayed at home and did nothing, wouldn't you? So you've got to keep going. Well done to you, to the connections back at the stables, to all of the, the team that make it work. Great to see you, mate, and uh, enjoy the celebrations this evening. Thank you. There might be one or two beers when we get home. I reckon you're allowed more than one or two. We'll head over here for the official presentation, but uh, those results are right. Andrew Inglis in first place, the outright winner in equal second. Sam Lyle, Charlie Dobbin, Gemma Tinney, and uh, James Patterson Robinson. Well, Tim Dreverman, it's been an enormous 11 days of our official show jumping contest tomorrow. It's the celebration of Pony Club show jumpers and Pony Club hat classes. It's going to be a lot of fun out here, but in a way tonight, the six bar is a beautiful celebration of what has been the pinnacle of show jumping out here at Sydney Royal Easter Show, our mini pre and Grand Prix today, the six bar tonight. And they brought us so much joy and entertainment. Fantastic horses, fantastic riders. And tonight we've had a wonderful crowd too.
Lindsay Douglas, as they put their ribbons on, it gives me great pleasure to say thank you to you and Jake for all their support, to Sophie, to Paris, to uh, Emma. I'm just trying to think who else has been through the box this week. I sadly have to go back to my real job tomorrow. We're going to miss so you. I'm going to miss you too. It's been a pleasure being here in the NG Stadium for the last 11 days. To the President, Mr John Bennett, thanks for inviting me. To the Ringmaster, Mr James Angus, thanks for trusting me. And uh, for all of your support, I'll find the right camera eventually. There we go. We thank you all so much for your generous support. And uh, Lindsay, it's been a pleasure. It's been a thrill. Maybe a little bit too cheeky at times, but thanks for everything. <laughs> I've really enjoyed being here at Sydney in 2024. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Mr. Tim Dreverman, he uh, is the most extraordinarily diversely talented commentator. He rides during our camp draft to catch everyone who gets through the gate. He calls tent pegging like he was born to do it. He lives for his show jumping. He covers all of the odds and sods and fun and games and all the pomp and ceremony of Sydney Royal as well. He's been doing it for as long as I can remember and does it with such genuine love and enthusiasm, deep knowledge and regard for all of our competitors. And uh, he doesn't get to join us for Pony Club Day, so we say farewell to Tim Dreverman tonight. He'll no doubt uh, stick around and watch the Wrangler World Federation Rodeo Challenge because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you stick around for it? It's great fun and games out here. And boys and girls, put your hands together for our show jumpers, led out by Andrew Inglis and Lily. He's over there to say hi to some of his fans. And don't go anywhere. Maybe grab yourself a Dagwood dog because we'll be back with the Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge.